charging the amp road with a 120 watt solar panel. Well, in this test, you can see I completely maxed out all the ports. You can easily power my entire desk setup. Right here, the power consumption is 125 watts. Everything runs off this one power strip down here. I'll charge my iPhone, two huge battery banks, 20,000 milliamps, and even use that uh, 12 volt port to connect a car charger to charge the Jackery, which is at 60%, 50 watts input, a D volt battery bank, and the MacBook Pro with a uh, USB C to MagSafe 2016 with M1 Pro chip. And the power consumption is around 150 or 64 watts. Uh, well, <laughs> all right, let's take it outside and do a solar charging test. Make sure these panels are facing directly at the sun. And it's not the best day. I'm only getting about uh, five watts. Maybe the panel is not really efficient. I don't know. Um, anyway. Uh, that's an that's an option for off the grid. I may get better luck next time. Yeah, it is possible to still use the laptop and charge the laptop and the uh, phone when we are getting charged from the solar and slightly offset the power consumption from these devices. Charging the 13 inch 2017 MacBook Pro again uh, at 50. 6%, 95%, 55 watts. I'm gonna close it up. It's currently 1 p.m. It's 1.42 p.m. and the battery is 83%. Charging at 34 uh, watts, 53 watts, really depending on the uh, power consumption of this laptop power output of the type C on the right on the left side is 60 watts max and this type C is 22.5 watts max so always use the uh, the one on the left for charging laptops and I recommend um, charging laptops using the type C port to avoid using the AC uh, um, output because using the AC uh, port, there will be conventional conversion loss. So you are getting less from the, this battery pack. So my uh, MacBook Pro uh, 16 inch with M1 Pro chip is almost uh, maxing out the total 60 watts from this port. Press and hold this button for a second and to enable the DC, uh, AC output and USB DC and LED, press and hold. There are LED in the back as well. So the second press will enable the LED flashlight in the back and in front. The ergonomic handle on top. All right, let's go through all its uh, features and compare it with the Jackery. So it has uh, the same capacity as the Jackery Explorer 300 but it has a lot more feature. For example, obviously the flashlight, uh, four of them of these LED lights, and it has dual USB type A ports, 20 watts and 20 watts, dual USB type C, and it has a two more AC receptacles than the Jackery one. Uh, that's the DC output, you know, the 12 volt socket in front, it also has dual input. Type-C can take the input 60 watts and also does the 60 watts output to charge the laptop. And this one is rated at 22.5 watts max output. And this DC is to control the uh, output here and here. is the spec you may pause and read it has 300 watt hour storage capacity the battery charger three pin plug in the back rated at uh, 16.8 volts 
and 12 amps. Supports three ways of charging via the Type-C port, obviously, and the included AC adapter, 110 watts. And also I can simulate a car charging using the Jackery output. Um, the included cigarette lighter adapter, 12 volts. So I believe this one takes almost 110 watts. Very interesting. These two can be uh, combined. So you can use the AC outlet and the car charging adapter at the same time to increase the charging speed. And also there's a additional proprietary port in the back, three pin, which I think I showed you earlier, um, to accept 200 watts of charging. So you can get a maximum of 200 watts of charging speed if you use these two methods. And of course, to get this kind of stuff at home, uh, you may need another adapter to get the maximum charging speed. All right. And of course, obviously, you can do uh, solar input as well, but I don't think you will be able to exceed 200 watts even if you plug in another charger in the port on the right. And it can be charged when using it with all the DC and AC ports enabled. And that's the input power our wattage and 57 watts output yeah the maximum input i noticed is 111 110 the power brick is rated at 22 volts 5 amps which is exactly this power output with this dc port enabled i'm plugging a socket uh, charger 12 volt charger we can see the internal battery uh, status 13.1 volts that's the internal uh, wattage of the 12 volt output by turning it off I, I believe that one will uh, shut off yeah if you have this uh, kind of connector uh, you should be able to power your uh, DC fans or lighting and with these uh, AC outputs, you can plug in a lot of uh, external chargers or even more powerful chargers like 100 watts power delivery port. An overload protection if the entire power output exceeds 300 watts. It will just stop working for a second, then continue. Unlike many other power stations, it will cut off. Uh, it will power off it, itself. So you can see th this dual motor desk uh, sometimes stopped working because uh, it exceeded the power rating of this power bank. But I think uh, without shutting off, but still be able to you know, cut off and continue by itself is a really nice feature. Thank you much for watching my super long and detailed review of this power station with this overprotection and the flashlight feature and all these ports it's a great option to go off the grid or as an emergency power backup very sleek design highly highly recommended thank you very much for watching